First of all, thanks for buying an Air Knight. I'm Chris with Air Knight, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use and understand your Air Knight AK1000 air quality monitor. Step one, simply plug it in and turn it on by pressing the power button for two seconds. Step two, wait about five to 10 minutes for the readings to adjust to the air in the room and calibrate. Step three, adjust the time. First, press the power button quickly three times to enter time mode setting. Second, press the left or right buttons to adjust the hours. Then press the power button to switch to minutes. Next, press the left or right buttons to adjust the minutes. Lastly, once done adjusting, press the power button to confirm and complete the time setting. Step four, recalibrate the TVOC and HCHO sensors. To do so, bring the device outdoors while it's turned on or take it to a place with very clean air. After five minutes, press and hold the left button for three seconds and you will hear a beep sound, which means the HCHO slash TVOC calibration has been completed and the HCHO and TVOC readings have been effectively set to 0.000 in alignment with the negligible amounts of HCHO and TVOC found in outdoor air. Step five, lastly, enjoy the added benefits of having an air night in your home. Please reference this table in your user manual. Generally speaking, the targeted ranges are as follows, CO2 less than 1000, HCHO less than 0.1, TVOC less than 0.5, PM 2.5 less than 20, PM 10 less than 40, temperature in the 65 to 79 range, and humidity in the 30 to 60 range. Tip number one, open a window. If your readings are not in the desired range, often the quickest and most practical way to get them back in the desired range is to simply open a window. This obviously does not apply if you're located in a wildfire area or any other area with compromised outdoor air quality. Tip number two, be aware of your cooking. Despite giving off those wonderful smells we all have come to know and love, cooking often releases increased amounts of unhealthy pollutants into the air, including but not limited to CO2, PM 2.5, and 10, and VOCs. Furthermore, how and what you cook determines the type of pollutants which will be released into the air. For example, if you cooked fried eggs on the stovetop, you will be releasing more smoke into the air which will in turn release elevated amounts of PM 2.5 and PM 10 into the air. On the other hand, if you bake using the oven, you can count on elevated levels of CO2 and possibly TVOC. Tip number three, use filters. To improve your indoor air quality, it is highly recommended to not only use a furnace filter, but also an air purifier in the areas you spend the most time in. Perhaps maybe your home office or bedroom. For more detailed information of each and every air quality metric, including the definition, impact on your health, possible causes of a high reading, and tips to improve your air quality, please reference the user manual. I hope this has been helpful. If you ever have any questions or concerns, you are more than welcome to contact us at the contact information shown below and in your user manual, and we'll always do our best to help. Again, thank you for buying an air night, and we sincerely hope you like it.